Hi, welcome to the Riaya. In today's video, we're going to be covering how to use OBS to stream to Beam. So let's get this started. The very first thing you're going to want to do is once you get your account set up and you're logged into the uh, main page beamstream.gg, you can click on the start stream here on the top right. It'll take you over to your own profile little studio area where the viewport's in the center, change the title and the information and so forth. But then on the top left, you've got your restream tools, which we will cover in the next video. And then your OBS Streamlabs is set up. Now to get this going, what you're going to want to do is where it says CRTMP endpoint and key, you're going to want to copy that. You can simply do that by clicking on here. It'll bring up the RTMP endpoint and your stream key that you will be needing. The first thing is the URL. So you're going to click the little copy button that is right there. Then you're going to move on over into OBS itself and go into the settings. But once you're inside the settings, you're going to go straight to the stream tab here on the right. Now under service, you're going to be setting it to custom because there is no specific straight one to beam, at least not yet. Now this is where you're going to want to paste that server information. So normally, of course, this would be blank. So then you're going to right click on it and click paste. You can also hit shift V or control V as well. Now the next thing you need is the stream key. You're going to be moving straight on back on over to OBS studio. Now inside where again is the endpoint and key, you're going to click copy on the key. And then again, once again, go over to OBS. Now, of course, to the stream key here, you're going to want your little cursor in here. And you're going to right click and again paste it again if you can want to for doing it out of simplicity hit ctrl v it's just a little hotkey for you to use now with this setup you're kind of there the next thing you're going to have to do is go on over to the output section with the streaming tab you could do this either via simple and kind of follow along but i'm going to be going over the more advanced here just so that you can get the full benefits of it all now, in order to stream to uh, Beam itself, you need to stream in H.264. So don't get confused by HEVC or AV1. These are ones you don't need to look at. It's just here because, again, OBS doesn't know what type of codecs it actually supports. HEVC and AV1 are in the works, but that'll be coming in the future. So for the time being, you're going to try to do or want to primarily use your hardware encoders from your graphics card, so either NVIDIA, Intel, or AMD. NVIDIA here, as it states quite uh, easily and in your face, is NVIDIA NVENC H264. Intel is the QuickSync one, and AMD says AMD in front of it. I don't remember if it still has like a VCE or anything else after it, but you'll see the name on it, unlike the Intel one, which doesn't have it at all. So go ahead and click your primary encoder you would be using. And you want the rate control set to a constant bitrate. Now the primary things you're going to be changing on here are the bitrate itself. Uh, Beam happens to support up to 12 megabits per second at 1080p. You may need to check if your ISP gives you those types of upload speeds and so forth. You check that easily on Ookla's website. It'll be linked in the description. But then the next important thing you really want is the keyframes. Generally, you want to set it to one. This usually in terms of uh, viewership gives less latency, which means it'll appear quicker for the streamer themselves, like say from chat and whatnot, to be able to answer people's questions and so forth. Now, this is a little different from AMD, so we'll cover that at the end. But under presets, for both NVIDIA and Intel, you actually have Kind of a number system. Obviously, you want to go as slow as possible. If your encoding uh, has no problems with slowest, then go ahead and use that. If you have any issues with this, is like encoder overloaded, then you might want to try some of the uh, faster ones. For AMD, I believe these uh, presets are only speed, balanced, and quality. I might be wrong, but I did check that not too long ago, and that seemed to be what it was. Tuning in general, on them you would like some high quality if they support that kind of thing. And for multi-pass mode, as long as your card can support it, do single pass. 
profile is always set to high with psycho visual tuning on for nvidia and intel has their own type of uh quality tuning as well i would recommend turning it on gpu if it says zero that is your primary graphics card that's usually what it would be if, especially if you only have one and then max b frames you actually want to set that to one anything higher will cause a worse quality for you in the long run and uh yeah then that's it you're actually set to uh be able to stream on over to beam so i'd have to say that really covers all of it i mean it's pretty simple to set up i hope you're able to follow this tutorial along i have the different mouse clicks to pop up on the screen to hopefully make it just a little more video to understand where i'm going so if you like this video hit the like button if you don't you know what to do if you have any comments questions or suggestions leave them in the comment section below and as always, thank you for supporting the channel.